Once upon a Halloween, there was a vile and evil queen. Far and wide she ruled the land, with wicked ways and heavy hand. And though she had far-reaching rule, which she enforced by means so cruel, with black magic at her command, she had in mind a greater plan. Across a marbled courtyard, through a crystal hall, down a winding stony stairwell, a door set in the wall. In place upon the bookshelf, secrets buried deep. The source of her dark power within the witch's keep. In order to increase her power to heights beyond the norm, and to attain her ghastly goal, she knows she must transform! My transformation is complete. Now nothing can prevent me from attaining my goal. <laughs> At midnight tonight, you see, it will be Halloween. The very time when all of my dark powers are at their strongest. I must possess Halloween. I must take it and all its unspeakable powers for my own. But old Granny is not so arrogant as to think she can attain this goal on her own. Oh no! We must find allies to join us in this struggle. Um, but who shall be my partner in this crime? I summon from the dark beyond. Villains, fiends and demons spawn. I seek your help. Please heed my cries. I command the villains, arise! Arise! villains to make Halloween my own. But how shall I proceed, O oh great cauldron? The villains you seek may be summoned from within my depths, O oh queen, for it is within me that all dark things reside. All dark things? Certainly there isn't room. You have no idea. True, and neither do I care. We must focus on what is most important to me, conquering Halloween! As always, Majesty. Quickly, Cauldron, we have no time to lose. Then let us start in the beginning, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> 
the oldest villain of them all. Will he heed your corruptive call? my queen. It isn't always easy being so cruel. A sense of humor never hurts. A sense of humor? Oh, to be sure. 
Watch carefully. And I do share a similar sense of humor. They would make good company indeed. Ah, uh, yes, my queen. Finding amusement in the destruction and misery of others is a common trait amongst good villains. And you are truly one of the greatest of them all. Is there anything more laughable than great suffering, Cauldron? Your plans, dear queen. What? Oh, nothing. Here is another witch just like you. She dwells deep down within my brew, unsurpassed in her cruelty. Get Draco. What's wrong with his face? Yes, what is wrong with his face? He came to us like that. Something he picked up in the forest, I reckon. Ran into a stinging jinx. Was it you, David? Give me a wand. We'll see what her last spell was. Ah, uh, I got you. <laughs> what is that? Where'd you get that from? It was in her bag when we searched her. Reckon it's mine now. Are you mad? Your masters! 
Dobby has no master. Dobby is a free elf. And Dobby has come to save Harry Potter and his friends. Cannonball, poison, a long-bladed sword. The bounty placed on your head as reward. A talkative parrot, a tightly wound clock with a bell on its top, and a persistent tick. Cock. With a black and cold heart and cruel curved hook, I thus summon thee, you vile old crook! Five men still alive, the rest have moved on. All your deeds laid bare. All your sins punished. I can offer you an escape. Don't listen to him. Do you not fear death? Take my chances, sir. To the depths. Life is cruel. Why should the afterlife be any different? I offer you a choice. Join my crew and postpone the judgment. One hundred years before the mast. Will ye serve? I will serve. <laughs> <laughs> you are neither dead nor dying. What is your purpose here? Jack Sparrow sent me to settle his debt. What is your purpose here? Jack Sparrow sent me to settle his debt. Huh. Did they know? I'm sorely tempted to accept that offer. Children, now will you recall the fairest villain of them all. By their very nature, no villain can truly be fair. But that does not mean they won't try to make evil as attractive as possible. Hour is almost upon us. 
soon it will be Halloween and I must be ready to act. Let me set your mind at ease and conjure up a villain who might be able to offer you some sage advice on your impending greatness. <laughs> Fixer upper, but with a certain homey charm. Ah, a minus. Current tenants. Hello, my little pretty, pretty, pretty. Hello yourself. You look good enough to eat. That I am. Come and get me if you can. <laughs> with pleasure. Let's redecorate. I've always hankered for something on the water. What is this floor? It took God seven days to create paradise. Let's see if I can do better. Good babies, grow for mommy. Bane, darling, I found a fellow who strikes my fancy. A cool customer, yes. Icy demeanor, no question. But I detect a certain ruthless charm I may be able to use to my advantage. Honey, clean up this mess. We've got company coming. Honey, company. There is much of me in her, to be sure. Yes, like a sister, she has your beauty. We'd be very powerful together. Yes, but keep in mind that could pursue none of her dark goals without the aid of her able-bodied but feeble-minded henchman and sidekick. I caution you, my queen. Never underestimate the value of such aid. What do you mean? Behold! Sidekicks and henchmen, that's who get you the prize. They'll be your ears and eyes if ever trouble should arise. Sidekicks and henchmen, go where you dare not go. No things you're scared to know. Protect and serve and even glow. At the end of your rope when there isn't a hope of getting out alive. That's when henchmen thrive and that's how you survive. You're about to be bit when you see the fuse lit as you sit on the bomb. Who sounds the first alarm and rescues you from harm? Shy pitch and henchmen appear when fear takes hold. They're mean and green and cold. They'll steer the ship or steal the gold. Shy pitch and henchmen will honor and obey. Stop traps a mile away. They'll taste your food or chase your prey. You're attacked in your bed. You get whacked in the head. You're punching from the slugs. Who comforts you with hugs? Your care and faithful thugs. You're at number by ten and surrounded again by men who hate your goods. While friends sit on their butts. You need someone who's nuts. <laughs> who turn your enemies to stone? Or blow them houses down, or fight to save your throne. Scientists and are 
devils in disguise. They'll beat men twice their size. They'll cast your spells and tell your lies. Psychics and henchmen, no matter what the cause, for wit as sharp as claws, they'll do your crime or do your time and never seek applause. As Hades discovers, wait back when you gotta have psychics. The good ones have big sticks. Some even have ice picks to get in your best place. You gotta get psychics. On the other hand, I have to admit that having a henchman whose moat doesn't quite circle the castle can be frustrating. Consider his genius plan nearly jeopardized due to a... Glad you missed your connection. We were, we were coming to get you. Please. Sai. Anara. No! A wide brimmed hat. A bright rhinestone coat. I summon forth him whose temper runs slim to reveal to me his plan so grim. Ah, yes. I do believe you were just getting ready to make me a proposition to Babum Hilda. Am I right? Right. Bring out Hildy! Get away, Hunter. Ah! Get your ass in that gun! Ah! Lay your hand flat on that table, Hunter. Oh, shut your mouth! Dr. Schultz, in Greenville, you yourself said that for the right nigga, you'd be willing to pay what some may consider is a ridiculous amount. To which me, myself, said, what is your definition of ridiculous to which you said $12,000? Now considering <laughs> y'all have ridden a whole lot of miles, went through a whole lot of trouble, and done spread a whole lot of bull to purchase this lovely lady right here, it would appear that Broomhilda is in fact the right nigger. And if y'all want to leave Candyland with Broomhilda, the price is $12,000. And I take it you prefer the take it or leave it style of negotiation? Yes, I do, Doctor. You see, under the laws of Chickasaw County, Broomhilda here is my property. 
and I can choose to do with my property whatever I so desire. And if y'all think my price for this nigga here is too steep, <laughs> what I'm gonna desire to do is... <gasps> That's the death with it, right in front of both y'all. Easy, big fella. Then we can examine the three dimples inside Pamela's skull. Now, what's it gonna be, Doc? Huh? What's it gonna be? May I lift the hands off the tabletop in order to remove my pistol? Yes, you may. Exceptional beard and his unexceptional nigger. Now the night has grown darker. The time is nearly upon us. You must soon make the dark decision of which villain will join you in your quest. And I must begin summoning the dark powers. To do so, I will call on one of the lost souls within me, one with his own burning desire for power. Hello, James. Welcome. Do you like the island? <laughs> My grandmother had an island. Nothing to boast of. We could walk around it in an hour, but still it was, it was a paradise for us. One summer, we went for a visit and discovered the place had been infested with rats. They'd come on a fishing boat and gorged themselves on coconut. So how do you get rats off an island? Hmm? My grandmother showed me. We buried an oil drum and hinged the lid. Then we wired coconut to the lid as bait. And the rats would come for the coconut, and boing, 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 boing. they would fall into the drum. And after a month, you've trapped all the rats. But what did you do then? Throw the drum into the ocean? Burn it? No. You just leave it. And they begin to get hungry. And one by one, they start eating each other until there are only two left, the two survivors. And then what? Do you kill them? No. You take them and release them into the trees. But now they don't eat coconut anymore. Now they only eat rat. You have changed their nature. The two survivors. This is what she made us. I made my own choices. Hmm. You think you did. That's her genius. Station H. Am I right? Hong Kong? Mm -hmm. 86 to 97. Back then I was her favorite. And you're not nearly the agent I was, I can tell you that. Just look at you, barely held together by your pills, and your drink. Don't forget my pathetic love of country. <laughs> You're still clinging to your faith in that old woman. When all she does is lie to you. She never lied to me. No? No. What did you score on your marksmanship evaluation? Seventy. <laughs> Forty. Did she tell you the psychologist cleared you for duty? Yes. No. No. <sighs> Medical evaluation, fail. Physical evaluation, fail. Psychological evaluation, alcohol and substance addiction indicated. Oof. Pathological rejection of authority based on unresolved childhood trauma.
Subject is not approved for field duty and immediate suspension from service advised. What is this if not betrayal? <laughs> she sent you off to me knowing you're not ready, knowing you will likely die. Mommy was very bad. Who's? See what she's done to you. Well, she never tied me to a chair. Her loss. Are you sure this is about him? It's about her. And you and me. You see, we are the last two rats. We can either eat each other... Hmm? Or eat everyone else. How you're trying to remember your training now? What's the regulation to cover this? Well, first time for everything. Yes. Hmm. What makes you think this is my first time? Oh, Mr. Bond. All the physical stuff so dull. So dull. Chasing spies. Oh, it's so old-fashioned. Your niece must be killing you. England. The Empire. MI6. <laughs> You're living in a ruin as well. You just don't know it yet. At least here there are no old ladies giving orders and no little gadgets from those fools in Q Branch. If you wanted, you could pick your own secret missions, as I do. Hmm? Name it. Name it. Destabilize a multinational by manipulating stocks. But easy. Interrupt transmissions from a spy satellite over Kabul. Done. Mm, rig an election in Uganda. All to the highest bidder. Or a gas explosion in London. Mm -hmm. Just point and click. Well, everybody needs a hobby. So what's yours? Resurrection. <laughs> Let me show you something. I am inspired, Cauldron. I've made my decision. What is your bidding? It is this. I shall not join forces with one villain, but with all of them. All of them, my queen? Yes! All of them! I will raise an army of villains from your depths, Cauldron. An evil force more diabolical than the world has ever seen! May I offer some advice, Majesty? Make it quick! I can show you another powerful villain who tried to use a magic cauldron to a disastrous end. Oh, very well if you must. Oh, I must. Pay close attention, my queen, to the tale of the Horned King. Long ago, in the kingdom of Pridain, there was an evil Horned King. The king sought far and wide for the all-powerful Black Cauldron, which had the ability to raise an army of deathless warriors. Yes, my soldiers. Soon the Black Cauldron will be mine. He knew that with this indestructible army, he would be able to rule the world. Soon enough, the Horned King acquired the Black Cauldron. Now I call on my army of the dead.
his past. Never has anyone created an army like this. Go forth, my deathless warriors. Destroy all in your path. It seemed as though the Horned King and his army of Cauldron Born were unstoppable. But a courageous sacrifice by a furry little creature quashed the Cauldron's evil power. One must never misuse the power of an enchanted cauldron. Foolishness, ignorance, cowardice! I've never heard anything so ridiculous. Everyone knows that story is pure myth. A tale told to scare little witches at night. It's midnight. It's Halloween. No more delays. The time is now upon us. I am ready to join forces with these villains, Cauldron. Yes, my queen, but one final word of caution. The consequences are yours to deal with for all eternity. Now that Halloween is here, what do you ask of me? Join me with all these villains, Cauldron. Join me with them now, now, now! As you command. You shall be joined with all the villains. But where these villains all reside, for all eternity, is such a place you've never seen, would never wish to be. For when you live your sorry life as if evil were your friend, you soon enough learn a final truth. All bad things must come to an end.
I have seen. It can't be possible. All these villains vanquished and condemned within your depths. Yes, my queen. And now you must join them. Oh, wait. Cauldron, can't the spell be stopped? The spell is cast and cannot be undone. And so the vile and evil queen did not take over Halloween. The season went on without a hitch, with no interference from the wicked witch. Children in costume all took to the streets, planning their tricks and hoping for treats. A Halloween full of fun, free of fear. Well, at least until next year. 